Hey guys, welcome back to Black Acre Ranch. This is midweek update project time. So we, again, have told you we're trying to get out to the ranch and so we have all these building projects, animal projects, everything all the time. And with Jeff's parents that have been around this last week and kind of a fall break, we've had some extra helpers, which has been really great, especially as we're kind of really digging into some of our projects. And with some of the fun times we've had, Jeff last night took me on a little tractor date. And so I had the chance to get in the big green tractor and learn. So we're gonna pull T-posts today using the tractor, gonna get it done. Jeff's getting his work done and me, the kids, Tiffany, two of her kids and grandma and grandpa are here. So we've got house stuff going on. We've got the garage stuff going on. We've got um, stapling the pasture going on. We've got all sorts of little projects. So we'll kind of snip it, show you some of the updates we're getting done today. But right here, by end of this day, this will be all open, ready to be mowed. So really excited about that. And it's time to get to the tractor, baby. mostly working so we did a few trial runs on the first line and we tried some smaller straps unfortunately um, they, they didn't fare so well so I got out our bigger strap that's kind of been used and not in great condition and it keeps slipping and then the teeth on the teeth posts are digging into it now I know there is this little square thing at tractor supply for like five bucks so you can just slip over the teeth post and it'll grip in and that would have been a good purchase. Like I can totally see that being super handy today. However, I still think that we can do this with hopefully not killing our T-posts or more straps. So there is a chain over at the pavilion that we're gonna go see if we can find and try using a chain. Now I'm hoping not to ruin T-posts with it and maybe I run a retractor supply and grab the little, little tiny tool thing to help with our T-posts. But um, we're getting there, we're almost halfway done and I think it's time to go check on the other projects. Okay guys, we're over here at the small house. So if you've been, if you're new to our channel, um, um, about a year ago or so, we really started demoing this guy out. So he's pretty empty, almost down to studs everywhere. Um, there's still wiring, there's probably some nails. So we've got some kids working in there. We're gonna go show you out. We're gonna go check it out together and see how they're doing. All right, dude. So how's it going? Good. Okay, there's some wires that look like they've been cut. Little jump. Is this room all empty? Wires? Oh, I spy one over there. Wait, oh, that feels bad. 
little guy. Yeah, you guys pulling all the nails now? Let's see your bounteous creature. Wow, looks like you found lots of wire to take down. And that ladder working out for you? Oh, you thought you were tall, but not tall enough, huh? Nope. All right, I feel like you might take some time to get all this stuff out of here. Clean nails and yep. lots. Lots of nails, huh? Yes. Whee! Yep, it's looking good though. Okay, I made it over to the pasture area. So here's where the squeeze chute got set. And over here, oh, three quarter acre. This has been um, a feeding area for us. We kind of have the animals out of it right now. Um, and we needed staples, so the girls did that. But, as they're walking away, the girls are like, hey, the girls are like, hey, I think the lines are too loose. So Sandra went and found the Texas fence fixer and Bree, Sandra, and Lorna are tightening things up. Let's see their handiwork. The two here looks like. Get it on! Get it on, get it on. One more, one more, one more. There we go. Yeah. You missed it. Alright, we need wire. Wire. Strong. Go by go. Oh, oh. Oh. Did you kill you? It killed her. Stab me. Violent. <laughs> yeah, you realize there's a whole bucket of gloves, right? We realized that as we were in the pasture. We're too lazy to go get them. Oh, uh, okay. Because, like, literally, people are like, why don't you girls have gloves? And I'm like, dude, I always because wear gloves. We I know what's wrong with them. not to. Because yeah. we're lazy. Don't worry, only one of us got involved. Yeah, and you just have to live with the consequences of those choices. It's true. Mm -hmm, true. Which, you know, includes blood. Lots of it. And tears. Yeah, blood and tears. Alright, let's see you fix that fence. There's a mound of sand and a spider. Ow! <laughs> oh, look at that teamwork. I like it this long. <laughs> right? It's nice and easy. Easy to move. We were cutting them really short. Why were we cutting them short? Well, good thing I came when you did it right and have a good experience, right? Yeah. Yeah. I let you practice. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Alright, every post has all their staples now? Yep. Yay! A few of them are really sad. A lot of them. Staples? Oh yeah, yeah. I had to take a staple out. The previous staples were like... Well, it's a good thing you came and checked on them then. Oh, yeah. Alright, that's good enough. My turn. My turn. Oh, I thought we were done. Lorna's like, done! No. Nope. <laughs> We've already done this wire down there, but it was yeah. still really loose. Yeah. So. Well, then you come fix it again. Mm hmm. Now, I want a rifle for my. <laughs> for Christmas. <laughs> Okay, so we made it back over to update on the little building, so the garage. And we have some walls that used to not be here, but so here's another wall that got put in. We've got lots of electrical boxes. And then today they've been working on drilling holes. Oh. In the pocket so that way the wire can get run, so. We're all framed in for a seven foot garage opening, single car garage. And look at all the hard working kids. They're so tired. My hands just smell Try and guess where it is? What do you mean try and match it? Unless you can get a longer drill, you gotta go from the bottom up. Sure. There's no mark even. Like, why won't it go further if it has a length? Oh, if you have the length, go ahead and go further. I thought you were running out of length. Ah, I was spinning. It wasn't going anywhere, though. That's oh. I feel like you were. Just put it right there at the edge of that top guy. See, with your, just right here on the outside so you can see. Oh, no. oh, okay. I know I have the length for three. I, th I thought you did, too. Yeah. 
There it is. There we go. <laughs> I think it was just a pressure thing. So we're done with lunch. We hunted down a chain. So we're gonna stop ruining my straps. Sorry, <laughs> honey. And so I'm gonna show you how we have it wrapped. We're gonna try it out and hopefully it's really successful. So we're just using this top arm part and have it wrapped several times to take up the slack. And then Tiffany has the end hook that will go ahead and attach to the bottom of the T post and hopefully pull that sucker right out. Okay, so it's been a good day. Um, I don't know, it's the afternoon. We took a lunch break. I still need to go follow up and check on how those kids' projects went. I know the girls got um, the staples done and tightening up those wires in the pasture. Um, I need to check on the wiring. Anyways, so thank you so much for Tiffany being here and being my helper. They had to leave, but the chain worked so much better. So as you were able to see, I would kind of reposition myself in the tractor and she would wrap the chain down at the base and hook it on itself and then I'd try pulling it up and sometimes it would slip so we'd have to fix it but I did not ruin the chain I did not break the tractor it was a lot more effective I may have been to t-post but probably not because of the chain I don't know so we got all of the t-posts out I even went back in the middle by the Gold post and got those out. So we're ready to mow. Now, besides mowing, these pigs really dug in some spots. So we definitely need to kind of relevel this out and recover the area. But I'm excited to get this all done today and have a nice project day all accomplished. Man, hard work takes a lot of time. But as you can see, there's no more. I have a couple helper girls finishing collect the last of the T posts from the piles that we left out. So let's go ahead and double check on the house, see how the wiring's going, and um, finish up the day. There's still a few wires. Um, you can kind of see. But they've definitely cleaned house. There's a lot out. Um, and all their sled is gone. So they've done a good job. Sorry, I'm pivoting. Here we go. There's a little bit right there. So not quite done, but definitely a good day's work in here. Okay, so we're gonna finish up today um, just with a quick peek. They're getting wires in. So it's so great to have visitors, especially helpful visitors. We love all the progress and all the great help we've gotten. Um, so thanks for hanging out with us and we can't wait to see you next time on Black Acre Ranch. Thanks guys.